wild time. Let's try this. We have a little game here. We have a jingle, okay. Peter, for a game? Yeah, always, man. Uh, how about this one? Okay, so here we go. Forrest, uh, your show, what's it called? Mysterious Creatures? Yep. All right, Mysterious Creatures was a was an abject failure. I'm it sorry. Was. It was. <laughs> but we love you. Good. Uh, so Peter and I are... <laughs> I heard ex- that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peter and I are execs at, uh, at Network. Okay. Network. We're network, network, network execs. Network X. You're yeah. coming into the. You're coming in to meet with us because we've we've asked you for a meeting. Okay. And uh, and we're gonna we you know because a lot of times you go in and they're like hey we really want to do something about Vikings yeah and then they're like what's your take so so we're gonna give you a few scenarios you're gonna on the spot just like you would have to do in a real pitch meeting come okay. up with your wildlife show based Love on it. our little networky seedling of an idea. Love it. Love All right. it. Uh, this All is right. a good exercise. This is like, this is good for me to practice. It's what they do. They put you on the spot and then they're like, I don't know. That guy didn't have any ideas. And you're like, fuck you. Yeah. You gave me three <laughs> yeah. seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I it's it. like, I, it. yeah, I didn't come in preloaded with a pitch about uh, fucking the Civil War. Sorry. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, Forrest, dude, thank you so much for coming in, man. I, we're sorry about Mysterious Creatures. That's on us. Uh, we didn't promote it and, and totally not on you. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I'm still, to this day, not sure why you decided to air it for the first time at the same exact time slot as the Super Bowl, but I do appreciate the <laughs> apology, and um, that was an interesting choice. That was uh, yeah. that was my decision. Uh, sorry about that. I thought it, I could see that. You know, yeah, I, I really just that. don't. You're like, like people you. don't want to watch the Super Bowl. They want to watch yeah. a brand new. Wildlife I mean, I'm really only here show. because Patrick. He knows you. You're friends. So <laughs> let's just get on with well, this. Well, anyway, and, I, and I'm I am I have a lot more clout than than Peter. So. <laughs> Uh, but look, man, we... I don't like him either, right so now, I don't feel bad. I mean, Netflix, Apple, um, they've recently had series. The Kalahari Desert is blowing up. Um, okay. All I mean, Americans are going gaga for the Kalahari. Um, so I'm like, holy shit, Forrest, I bet, has something great. Like a wildlife show, like something you could do in the Kalahari, man. Like, I, yeah. y- if you have something good, we're doing it. Good. Wonderful. Well, let yeah. me pitch you guys some ideas, okay? Let well, me, start, let me with, uh, start with here. me, because I don't even know what that is. Is that an Italian food dish? It is. Yeah, it is. Um, the okay. Kalahari Desert is one of the largest deserts in the world. It's in Africa, and it is inhabited by a fascinating people called the Khoisan. Now, you guys know me. I'm a wildlife guy. People are not my thing. But the Khoisan are an, a pygmy tribe of nomadic people that live in grass Whoa. huts, and they follow the Great Migration. Now imagine these small, these small African people. At, at full height, you're talking about five foot, the men. Women are like four foot two, four foot five, um, and they live this nomadic lifestyle. In fact, they are such unique people that up until, I want to say, the 70s, you no, it might have, must have been earlier, uh, the 50s or 60s, you actually used to be able to pay to go and hunt for these people. And that's a real thing that, that old crazy colonists used to do. Jesus Regardless, Jake. I don't want to do that. Story for TV. What, I, what I do want to uh, do is in that. bed with the Khoisan and spend a season following the wildebeest migration through the Kalahari Desert, living like the Khoisan, which means digging up tubiers for roots because there's no water. It means hunting with primitive bows uh, making bowstrings out of hides, rubbing sticks together to make fire, and I'll even I'll even throw this into the mix, Patrick and Peter. I will marry a Khoisan woman <laughs> and become one of the tribe in a battle for dominance. Your thoughts, Peter? I mean, uh, just yeah. judging by the look on your face, I think we're thinking the same thing. Love a lot of what you said. Um, the wildebeest migration—that's cool. Um, but the one thing you mentioned in there is um, that, that like rich people, I guess, could could pay to hunt the people. What do you think about doing something like that? Maybe you go hunt the, the koi sam? We'd have to that check is, with S&P. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling standards and practices might push back on that. But, I, you know, that's not me to say. Um, if we're going to do that, let's do it in game show format. So I'll go full camouflage. I'll come in as the great white hunter, the American jackass. I will have a giant paintball gun. Um, put me on the ground. You know, I think the Khoisan get real bows and spears, and let's just see last man standing. 
Yeah. See, you know what's sad? Uh, Let me time out for a second. I love it. That's probably what I'd say yeah. in a network meeting, as opposed <laughs> to being like, we're not doing that. What is the fucking... That's what's really sad, is in a network meeting, I'd probably be like, you know, I love it. Here's how we do it. Instead yeah. of just being like, fuck you, that's so racist and shitty. Uh, it was a test. That's what's sad. You failed. But, yeah. Sorry. It was a back test. In you character. failed. Back in character. Uh, <laughs> Nice, nice, nice on the test there, Pat. Obviously, we don't want you hunting other human beings on network television. That's that's absurd. I really like the idea, Forrest. Uh, again, though, I just don't like you. And, you know, so it's, it's not really <laughs> that you have a bad idea. You're just not good to look at, and you're... It's just everything going on over you're here. Infl- sure. your, your, sense of, your sense of ego, it, it, it rivals only the other man here sitting next to us in the room <laughs> with his babushka well, hat on. Why are you um, turning and, this? And to that, I will say, you know, I'm, we're, I'm, I'm a hard pass, but, you know, let's do brunch. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.